you guys saw so back with another video today. I hope you guys enjoy it. And let's get started. Hey guys, so today I'm going to be bringing out this wireless earbud case I got actually at Ross. Um, it was $14.99 as you can see. And I thought it was so pretty. I love pink. That's my favorite color. So I was like, oh my god, it's so pretty. So I was actually thinking about bringing out the earbuds too. But then I'm like, it's not going to fit in the case. And then I opened it and look at this. It was like peeled and ugly. I was like, ew. But I'm like, oh well, whatever. I'm not going to leave it like that anyways. I'm going to bling it out. I just wanted it because it was a pink color. So to use that as the background for the rhinestones, right? And then it came obviously with the little different sizes for the earbuds, the charger. So yeah, this is how I was looking. But like I said, it didn't matter because I was going to bling it out. So I'm going to do the edges first, like always. And then I'm going to be using these pink rhinestones. And I am going to be doing the scattered method or whatever you guys want to call it, the random, you know. Um, I would recommend, like always, a little tip. Right here where the charger goes make sure you leave a little little tiny gap because you know how some chargers sometimes are bulky and since you're gonna have the rhinestones on there you know it could bump into it and it's not gonna be able to fit so right here i am bedazzling the edges for the front of the case i'm not gonna be bringing that little you know dent you see right there that is for when you open the case with your nails or your finger because it's gonna make it hard you know for me to open it you see how I just opened it and if I bring that out it's gonna give me some trouble so I'm leaving that empty and I'm going around the case so I'm moving on to the back now and for the back corners I would suggest you guys another little tip to use small rhinestones because you see how I'm opening the back it's going to hit the rhinestones if they're too big. And they're just going to be popping off. So use small ones for those two little corners. And I'm not going to be bringing that middle top part that bends when it opens. Because like I said, it's going to be hitting the back. And then the rhinestones are just going to fall off. So you saw how I put three little tiny rhinestones. That's what I'm suggesting. That's what I'm trying to tell you guys. Use small ones because when you open that case, they're just going to pop off if the rhinestones are too big. So like I said, I'm going around all the edges first. And then the rest of the case. So I'm just about done going around the bottom of the case. And then I'm going to start filling it in. I just did not like how this case was looking when I first bought it. I was very disappointed. If I wasn't going to bling it out, I would have returned it. Because paying $15 for this ugly peeled case, like that is so messed up. But I wanted it for the background for the pink rhinestones. So it worked out fine for me. But Yeah, so I'm filling in the middle now. I'm doing the scattered method like I said so what I like to do when I'm doing the scattered method is you know you know obviously put some glue by sections you know you don't have to be so such a perfectionist when you're doing the scattered method because you know you're doing different sizes you're not doing you know any specific pattern so just put some glue on the the object whatever you're working on and I like to put some bigger rhinestones and then start filling it in with the smaller rhinestones and work my way so yeah that's what's looking and then I'm moving on doing another section so yeah I really liked how I came out it was really really cute like I've said before I was terrified to do the scattered method for a long time because I felt like it just didn't look neat 
to me. But once I tried it the first time, I was like, oh my god, I love it. And it's so easy to do. It saves you so much time. You know, so I love it now. But I was terrified for a long time. For a long, long time. But yeah. So yeah, I'm just filling it in now. I'm loving how it's looking so far. So like I've told you guys before, when you're starting off, you know, it would be a good idea to buy um, pre-mixed packets or, you know, baggies of rhinestones because it helps you a lot with the to work with, you know what I mean? And so this is a mix that I actually bought. It comes with different sizes of the same color. It's like a magenta color. And I really, really like it. And um, this is what I'm doing. This is just one package that I use. And I still have a lot left over. And I mean, it's really simple. I mean, a little packet probably cost me like not even $5. So I did this case. Um, if it was $15 for the actual earbuds. And then $5 for the baggie of rhinestones. That's $20, you know. And it, it makes such a big beautiful difference you know so yeah like buy those premix packages of rhinestones it, it can help you a lot when you're starting off when you don't have money to buy so much supplies yet you know and you really want to bring out your stuff that helps a lot so yeah and then so yeah i'm just about done doing the back i'm filling the gap between what I was doing and then the charger section. So yeah, that's how it's looking so far. And now I'm gonna start filling in the corners. Make sure when you're doing sections that are um, bending, you know, like it is right here in this corner. Look at the sizes you're putting on because you don't want like gaps between the rhinestones if the rhinestones you place in a specific area are too big and then they're gonna be hanging off you know so look at the rhinestones when you're placing them down when it comes to the big ones the little ones are fine but i mean i use some size 30 on here and so yeah you have to make sure that they're not hanging off but they're nicely going around the item So right here you can see I'm just about done bringing out the back of the case. So I'm going to be moving on to the front and then I'll be doing the top of the case. So I am using an E6000 just so you guys know and I'm starting to put bigger sections of glue because now I'm moving on to the middle so I can move faster. So I am done with the bottom of the case and now I'm going to move on to the top. So same thing like I said before, I'm going to start off with the edges of the case and then moving on to fill it in. So this is how the bottom looks so far. Really cute. And so 
Like I said, I'm not going to fill in that little gap. You guys see that it's empty already? Because when I open the case, if it has rhinestones on it, if they're going to pop off. So I'm leaving that empty. And I'm just going to be doing the rest of the case. So like I said, I am using the E6000. Just so you guys know, I forgot to mention it at the beginning of the video. So I was just going around with it. I know I like to say I like to do, I do the edges first. But once you get the hang of it, I mean, it's completely up to you how you do it. Whatever is easier for you guys, you know? You see right here, I still went around with the edges and then I filled it in. Make sure everything's not blocking the case where it's going to have to open. There's no glue attached. Am I going to stick together or something, you know? So yeah, you can already see those little faded parts the case had. You can't even tell they were there. The rhinestones covered it up. And yeah, I mean, it's already looking so pretty. I loved how it came out. I loved it. I wanted to bling out the earbuds, but I'm like, they're not going to fit in the case if I bling them out. So I just ended up doing the case. And yeah, I loved it. I loved, loved, loved it. For 20 bucks, I mean, can't get better than that. You know, how much would I have paid for, you know, a custom one? When you can do it yourself, I can do it myself, you know? So yeah, this is how it looks. I'm just about done. And like always, guys, when you're done with your item, depending what glue you're using, you know, look at the... Always read the description of that glue you're using, you know, to know... How much it is for the cure time and, and stuff like that. So, you know, let your let your items dry at least for 24 hours before you start using them, you know. Because you don't want things popping off. You might feel like it's firm and it's in place and it's dry. But it's always better to let stuff cure at least one night. So everything can stay intact. So I'm just about done here, um, round it up for you guys real quick, and yeah, I really loved how it came out, I suggest you guys try it when you buy a little, you see a little cheap case at Dollar Tree or 99 cent store, it can make such a beautiful difference, and these are my final results, like I said, I'm not bringing out that little gap where you open it, or the back part, because I don't want those rhinestones falling off. So you see, it opens up right there. The rhinestones are not going to be blocked and falling off because I didn't do that part. I didn't bring out the earbuds because then they wouldn't fit and they wouldn't be able to charge. So yeah, it's super, super beautiful. I love how it came out. And yeah, and so that little gap, remember I told you guys, leave it because look, the charger fit perfectly. And yeah, thank you guys for watching like always, and I hope to see you guys in the next video.